Thank you for joining me once again on Crunch Econometrics. Today I'll be showing you some very useful commands by which you can export your regression output from Stata to Word. On the screen are some of the commands I use all the time. Outreach to, Esther and Estab commands. Once the Outreach to command is executed, the regression output will be exported to a .doc file, which is a Word document file, from where you can format the output and save. For the STO and STAP commands, both of them go together. Once the command is executed, the output will be exported to a .rtf file, which is a rich text format file, from where you can also format that table and save as a Word file. It is good to know that these commands can be used on any estimation technique. OLS, ARDL, VAR, TOBIT, LOGIT, PROBIT, IVRAGE. So far, that regression command gives you a table. You can use any of these uh, commands to move the table to MS Word. In my usual practice, I have my log file on and my do file is also in place. All the commands I'll be executing for this tutorial are already written out. In my data editor, my data runs from 1981 to 2014. So let's start off by executing the tset year command. And this is the output from Stata. I have a time variable from 1981 to 2014. Always know that if you don't execute the tset year command, if you are using annual data, Stata will not run your time series analysis. I will start off with the outrage to command. So I'm going to highlight both commands and click the execute button. Here is the output. We can see, you can see the outrage to command here that I executed. And below it, you can see a highlighted result here, output. So click on that, and here we have the result. So from here, you can do any formatting you want. You can increase the font, you can change the font, you can bold in it, you can do anything you want. So here is your table in MS Word. Still using the outreach to command, supposing you want to do a stepwise regression. What do I mean by stepwise? Stepwise simply means you are including variables as you are running your uh, regression. In the first instance, I'm regressing log of EDS on real GDP. In my second regression, I'm including the log of Govex. And in the third one, I'm including exchange rates. And I want all these regressions to be on one table. So this is how you are going to arrange your command. In the first one, the outright command will have a replace option. The replace option simply means replace whatever is already in the existing documents. That is what the replace option is for. And you also see that that was what was there in the first regression I did, replace. The replace option is always the first option you use. Afterwards, you begin to use the append option. So by including other variables, the append option is simply include this in what is already there. That is, append this result to the existing table. Replace simply means change what is there before. So be careful how you use the replace and the append. I've already listed out all the commands. I'm going to highlight all and run. So this is for OLS. We have our result out. I'm clicking here to test.doc. Here we have the output. Remember it's a stepwise regression. This is real GDP with only the log of EDS. The second one is when I included Govex. And the third one is when I included exchange rate. So the table is being built up as I'm expanding the regression. So this was the table using a stepwise regression. From the stepwise using ARDL estimation technique. Everything is all spelled out. I'm highlighting all and I'm clicking run. Remember the replace is the first command followed by the append. So the result is out. This is an A4 page layout and the results can really fit into an A4 page layout but I'll have to be shifting here and there and that will waste some time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the page layout to landscape, from portrait to landscape, to make it wider, so that you can see it clearly. So you can see this is now landscape template. So all the regressions are there stepwise. You can see this is the first one. Adjustment time, long run, short run for the first regression. You can see it. This for the second one, and this for the third. So all the three regressions I did 
are all in a table. So all I need to do is just to format it, write it well neatly, and put any other um, fonts or formats I want to use. Supposing you carried out a VAR estimation using Outreach 2, this is what you'll have. I've already written all the commands here. I click the execute button. So on the screen is the results for the VAR estimation. So again, I'm going to change it from portrait here to landscape so that you can see it clearly. They can all fit into a portrait, but will waste my time in adjusting the bars. So here you can see the results. Column 1 and 2 relates to when it was only EDS in the model. 3, 4, 5, GovX is not included. Then 6, 7, 8, 9 includes exchange rates. This is the output from a VAR estimation. So those are examples involving the outreach to command. Next, I'm going to move on to the stab command. For the stab command, it's all written out, but you have to store your regression first. You have to store it with S2. So this is how you spell it out. So I'm highlighting everything here. The stab command will write it to my C drive, move it to my desktop, and I've titled the file OLS. So, this is highlighted, and I click the Run button. The output is written to my C drive on my desktop, and this is the title of the file. I either click here, or I go to my desktop. Here is the OLS file, as exported from Stata. I double-click it, and you have the OLS results neatly in the table. From here, you can format it in any way you like, and save it as a Word file. Remember, it's a .rta file. So save as a word file. So let's assume we did an aerial deal estimation. This is for aerial deal now. I'm highlighting all. You can see my command estimate store aerial deal. I'm executing. Here you can see the output written to a dot RTF file. I double click on that. You can see here ARDL results. This is adjustment coefficient. These are the long run estimates. These are the short run estimates, number of observations, and the value of the R squared. So this is your ARDL result exported neatly to MS Word. Another example using VAR. This is a VAR estimation. I'm alighting all and I'm executing. So on the screen is the VAR results. So all you have to do is just format it to your taste. Prep up the table whichever way you like it and you're good to go. You can also perform stepwise regression using the S2 and S tab commands. So for OLS, there's the same thing I taught you. Simply specify all and highlights. And remember to include the S2 clear. The S2 clear simply tells Stata, clear whatever is in the memory. Clear the estimation from the memory because you also have other estimations to perform. So always put this S2 clear command to clear off the memory for the estimation results. So I'm highlighting all and I'm executing. So here's the output for the stepwise regression using the stab command for OLS. We'll click on this. So here we have our results. Let me change the page layout to landscape. So now you can see the results clearly from this, for the stepwise regression. The columns again represent the dependent variables, while the rows represent the explanatory variables. As you are adding your variables, the table is expanding and is being modified. So you don't have to be copying your results by hand. Stata does it neatly for you. Let's try one with aerial DL, and you can do the same for your VAR, it's the same. So just write out, you can see the way I spelled out the ARD. Okay, let's try out for ARDL and VAR. So for ARDL, you can see the models are specified one after the other. And all I have to do is just highlight and never forget to put the S2 clear command. So here is the ARDA results for our regressions. So we have three adjustment coefficients because we have three estimations. We have our long run uh, coefficients here and we have the short run for each of the estimation that we did. All of them in a single table for ARDA results. Lastly, I'll show you if you are running a VAR estimation and you are building your regressions. I've highlighted all and I'm clicking the execute button. But we'll click this link here. So here we have our VAR results neatly put out in a single table from the stepwise regression, as you can see. 
you don't have to be copying all these out yourself. All you have to do is just format it to your choice. And you are good to go. We have seen how we can use both the outer edge and the stop commands. Whether you are running a single regression or you are performing a stepwise regression, you can use these commands to move your output from Stata to Word. If you need the do file, send me an email. My email is on my website and I will make the do file available to you. If our tutorials have been helpful, give us a thumbs up and tell your friends and colleagues about our YouTube channel so that they can subscribe and get easy and quick to learn tutorials on econometrics. Once again, I thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos from Crunch Econometrics. Don't go away. Stay with me. I'll be right back to show you how you can export output to MS Excel.